Hey, hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Rose and I make fragrance videos. And today I wanna to share with you my recent favorites, the fragrances that I'm actually wearing, fragrances that I have been wearing the most for the last month or so. So if you're interested, then just keep on watching. So first of all, one that I've gotten only very, very recently, like about a week ago, but considering I've worn quite a bit of it, actually I've been wearing this like almost every day, just after the shower because it's the best like simple clean shower fresh scent that you can think of it's aquatic it's fresh it's shampooy it's a little bit fruity it's just a very nice clean out of the shower very simple and pleasant scent to my notice is actually quite unisex as well there's not a whole lot of sweetness going on it's just super refreshing aquatic like as if you're spritzing yourself with some water if you just want to smell clean and refreshed, if it's really hot outside, you can't bear any very heavy fragrances. This is quite light. It doesn't project that much and it doesn't last that long either. I'm not going to lie to you, but I really like to spray this just after a shower or when I went to some refreshment, it would just last like maybe three, four hours, but it's just a really pretty, simple, clean scent. It's not my favorite scent in the world, but I think it's like so easy to wear. And I find myself just reaching it for all the time now that it's very, very hot outside. This is Ocean Di Gioia by Armani. Next one is Neroli and Orchidee by L'Occitane. And this fragrance is just a really, really nice, clean, white floral that you can especially wear well in the summertime. This is just so clean, it's absolutely not sweet, it's so fresh, it smells like a white flower. I feel like this is really, really great scent for work, it's super inoffensive, it's super clean and fresh. <clears throat> it's just, it just smells so beautiful and feminine and just very pretty and elegant. It's definitely on the softer side as well, it's on the fresh side, but it's not aquatic, it's floral fresh. And it's just so easy to wear and so pretty. I really like wearing this. And this is another one that I just gravitate towards a lot because it's just, you know, it's simple, it's fresh, it's floral. It's very, very pretty, especially in the summer. Next up, we have Woodsage and Sea Salt by Jo Malone. This is such a pretty one, guys. If you haven't tried it already, why not? This is just I feel like you have to be a psychopath not to like this. I cannot imagine anybody not liking this unless you really hate aquatic and aromatic fragrances. So we have some sage in here. It's a little bit salty, but really not a whole lot. For me, it's mainly aquatic. It always smells to me like a waterfall, like somehow blue and fresh and clean and just beautiful, beautiful. This also not the biggest siage whatsoever. Like, well, in fact, it's quite bad. Uh, quite bad longevity as well. I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, I would still really recommend it because the smell is very distinctive and it's very pretty. It's really one of my favorite aquatic fragrances. I think it is just so beautiful. It's so clear, totally perfect when it's really hot outside, on holidays, every single day. Just, you know, put this in your handbag and spray it every once in a while because it just doesn't last. So. Nevertheless, it's just so, so beautiful. Next one is Chanel Chance au Tendre de Eau de Parfum, which I prefer a little bit more. This is so, so pretty and so, so easy to wear. I just really love this. Mm. It's floral to my nose. It's a little bit powdery. It reminds me a little bit of like baby powder, baby wipes. It has something like that. Um, so it's fresh, it has some citrusy notes in here. It has that Chanel elegant vibe, like this automatically makes you feel elegant, but also in a more kind of simplistic kind of way. It's elegant and refined, but at the same time, somewhat casual as well. This is so, so pretty. I absolutely love, love, love this. Like this would be definitely in my collection forever. And this is literally something you can always wear like you can even wear this in the winter even though i feel like in the spring and summer it's a little bit better but this is like yeah there's no occasion where you couldn't wear this fragrance in my personal opinion so this is a staple in my collection i absolutely love it and yeah it's just amazing next up i have two green tea fragrances um 
this one is Valentino Stona Rosa Verde and this one is Mezzo Magiella Matcha Meditation. Um, this one I don't want to talk about a whole lot because it has been discontinued so I feel like talking about this is a little bit like maybe annoying for some people but this is a gorgeous green tea juicy fruity fragrance that it's just super amazing super refreshing i love wearing this for for workouts as well and just yeah whenever it's hot basically this is a really really nice and pretty fragrance um but alternatively you could also wear well actually they are not that similar but i also like wearing matcha meditation by meso magella replica uh, this is also really pretty it's just a different take on green tea it's a very realistic green tea in here and i feel like it gives me the vibes of like iced green tea it feels very cooling it feels very refreshing there is a note of jasmine as well there is a note of white chocolate which gives it some sweetness especially in the dry down i notice the white chocolate quite a bit nevertheless this really doesn't go to sweet ever at all and it's a very natural smelling fragrance i think this is beautiful 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 i definitely get this in the full size once i used up my little travel size here i really adore this for the summer this is so relaxing it's like a spa kind of fragrance this will immediately make you feel oh just more relaxed like just chill just calm down it's so so nice for that like it's beautiful it's not so much like a going out fragrance or something you get a whole lot of compliments with because it's very close to the skin but just for yourself it's an absolutely beautiful fragrance totally recommend this next up we have orange blossom by joe milone and this is like the most realistic orange blossom scent that i have come across in my life so far so ah oh, this is just beautiful 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 this totally reminds me of Spain, Portugal, that whole area where there's loads of orange trees and it has that sweet orange blossom scent, very realistic and it also has the orange and mandarin peel so it also has that fruity note especially in the top you get a lot of fruity notes and it really smells like the real thing it smells like a bouquet of orange blossoms and then the orange peel, mandarin peel so yeah that's basically what you're getting that's pretty much it that's all i smell in here very simplistic very beautiful a very very pretty and feminine scent that i think especially in the spring and summer is just a really really nice scent to wear and i'm really looking forward to wearing this being surrounded by orange blossoms and actually smelling like orange blossoms myself yeah this is one of my favorite natural orange blossom scents if you like orange blossom this is beautiful check it out and i find that this one lasts relatively well on me so i'm pretty happy with that considering it's a cologne lasts pretty well and then the next fragrance i'm wearing a lot recently is delina la rosée this is so so pretty in the warmer weather oh it is beautiful peony rose my favorite delina no question is the aquatic version of the original Delina sweetness toned down it's more watery it's fresher you have still like a beautiful uh, fruity note but it's not so tart it's just so well rounded people really really love this you get lots of compliments with this one uh, for a fresh fragrance this performs really really well it lasts really well at least on me so yeah I'm very happy about that and it's just so pretty and the bottle as well of course so yeah and next up we have chloe roses roses de chloe this one is just your very pretty dainty rose scent very soft and feminine very kind of victorian rose pretty i don't know this is such a pretty scent i, I like to wear this very very often it's a simple softly sweet pink rose with a little bit of like rose water effect as well ever so slightly green there's just a subtle sweetness but mostly it's just like a beautiful rosy watery scent it's very soft and delicate obviously this type of scent doesn't last a whole lot i'm not still sure if this is still available so i'm also gonna say if you like this scent you're definitely gonna like Urus by diptyque as well they are very similar this one is a little bit more fruity it's a little bit deeper it's a little bit greener but they are very very similar i absolutely love both of these fragrances if you like a natural simple rose beautiful beautiful and then last but not least we have bal d'afrique 
This is just such a nice and happy scent to me. It's a musky, a citrusy, a bit floral scent that to me, it's like, I don't know, like there has to be something in it that makes you feel happy. Like there has to be. Like it's really such an uplifting, but at the same time calming scent. Like that's, it's really like my type of scent. Like I love these kind of, kind of fresh and clean, but also a little bit sweet, a little bit floral, just happy, sunny, summery scents. It's so, so pretty. I would recommend you, if you haven't tried this already, to definitely test it out. If you do like that kind of musky, citrusy vibe and you want something uplifting and that gives you a little bit of that like calming, holiday-like feeling, that's at least what it gives to me. So Belle d'Afrique is still a very, very great fragrance. Yeah, guys, that was it. That was the fragrances that I've been wearing the most for the past couple of weeks. So. Give this video a like if you did like it. Consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. Hit that little no notification bell and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye bye.